Hello everyone and welcome back to our Shooter Bot AI series. In the last episode we managed to get him to run around and avoid our shots and avoid us entirely. What we're going to do now is we're going to make it so that we can have him jump and dodge and things like that as well. So we're going to make him randomly just start hopping around while he's shooting us. Sort of like bunny hopping style that you'd get in like old games like Quake for, uh, for example. So to accomplish this we're going to go to our behavior tree. So on our behavior tree, we're going to use something that we already have on here, and that is going to be our shooting service. Now, the reason why we're using the shooting service is because this is one something we want to do when he is whilst he's shooting at us. So whilst he's shooting at us, he's dart, darting back and forth and jumping, hopping in the air. So I'm going to go to shooting service and open it up. And at the very end of the shooting service on the tick, we're going to go over here and we're going to do a random ball. Okay, and then put this into a branch. And what this means is that he will do a 50% chance of jumping where he currently is. So on true, we're going to do, uh, sorry, drag out as bot, which you currently have as a reference to the actual bot character. And then from there, you can call the jump function. This will cause him, uh, make him jump. File and save. So now he will jump around, uh, but it won't be that high. So take a look. Okay, so yeah, I've got a bit of hopping in there, but not a lot. Uh, so let's increase that a bit to match sort of the player. So I'm going to go to the bot character actor. I'm going to go down to its character movement settings. And then go along to the gravity scale. It increases to 1.6 but also then offset that by boosting the jump Z velocity to 1000. What this will do is give us a good height as well as a good pull down to the ground. Hit compile and let's take a look at that instead. Got him. Uh, so there is a uh, way of doing like bunny hopping, things like that. If you want to make him so he does a, a fixed direction on that, you can do if you wish, but that's totally up to you. Uh, if you want to do that, you just have uh, instead of jump, you do launch character, and you can randomize the jump part of that. So if we go to here, rather than this, you have launch character, and in here you manually do it. So you can choose not just the Z, but also give more X and Y. But again, totally up to you. Um, I'll get rid of that. Okay, so at the moment he's jumping around, but you know his legs are still doing a walking animation. Okay, so we're going to fix that so he does his jumping animation instead. Now we are currently using the animation starter pack uh, default animation blueprint as the setup for our bot here so he looks like he's holding a gun. Uh, this has some flaws in it in that it doesn't allow us to work with other actors apart from the single player actor um, to do things like jumping. So we need to edit it heavily to make it work for our character to make it look like they're jumping. So let's go into our LM class here with it selected and open this up. Okay, so in here, we're going to change all this around. So what I'm going to do before I change all this is I'm going to duplicate this and keep it safe copy uh, that I'm going to assign to the bot exclusively. So let's duplicate this and we call it one bot AI anim. And I'm going to assign that to our bot here. So I'm going to edit bot and go to the mesh and give it that bot AI anim. So it might still work the same. It's just got a different animation blueprint. So let's customize and change this bot AI anim to meet our needs for our bot. So first of all, we've got update animation and we get port and owner. Now for this, I don't want to do a cast. I want to do just is valid. So do is valid. So if you haven't got this, this is the animation starter pack. Uh, it's free on the marketplace, but it does, it, it, as I say, it is limited. Um, uh, the Epic made here. So we'll make it a little bit better for us. Um, sign off with changing over to is valid for our check for the porn owner. If that is the case, we want to get the velocity and get the vector length of the velocity to get the speed. Next, we're going to calculate direction, which is going to come from that same velocity plus the rotation from the actor. 
and that will give us the direction they're running in so far so good it's pretty much the same the only difference now will start from here when we cast to UE4 ASP character obviously we're not using that we're using a bot character instead so all this stuff at the end for handle jumping is not going to work so we're going to take this off and delete these pieces here okay so next we need to determine when we've jumped now at the moment the ai is just calling the jump function what i actually want to do is set up a function inside of my bot ai to call the jump function and then do other stuff as well so the there's no way to determine when a jump has been performed so we go to a bot and we're going to make a function here an event for jumping so custom event and we'll call this one Ooh. and call it a uh, bot jump we'll call it and when it bot jumps we're going to do simply just do jump as we have been like that i'm going to go back to my service and tweak that to use that one instead now we've already got the reference here to the bot so that's handy we can just drag that out and do bot jump instead of the normal jump so when it receives that input, the bot will call the jump function, as well as we're going to tell it to communicate to the AI and him that we are jumping now instead. So at the moment, what we're going to do is we're going to do our uh, jumping animation as a montage. Now currently it's set up as a um, thing on the animation graph and the state machine there and there, but we're going to do something different. Okay, so let's go and make a jump animation montage uh, and we should start pack find your jump and we'll do jump from jog oh no we do jump from stand we'll do jump from stand right click on this and we'll do create and in montage and open it up okay so on this one we can customize there's different sections for this because we need to customize the start the loop in the middle and the end so we're going to find the bit where we want to start the uh, the loop, which is going to be about there. So frame 16, I'm going to right click and add a new montage section. And this will be the loop. So get to there and we want to stop there. Now to make it stop there, I'm going to make it go to that section and I'll make it move forward one frame and right click new montage section and we'll do it landing now for this you're going to want the move zoom in quite close because these basically have to be on top of each other because this animation isn't designed for this loop we get the an issue rise uh de demonstrate that issue you get this sort of stuttering effect so we're going to pull these extra close together so that stuttering effect becomes nothing like that and you can put it even, bit even closer. As long as it happens, the landing happens after loop, you're okay. Okay, there's our animation frozen in midair. Okay, so we've got those various sections there. Oh, too far. There we are. there eventually uh, so we've got default loop and landing and you can see the section information down here on the right hand side if you don't see this just go to window and find the sections for montage sections so we can go from default to loop so click on the default square next to it and choose loop then after loop you're going to click on the square again and choose loop again and what that'll do it'll change the color of loop to blue making it loop okay so it'll get to play default get to loop and get stuck there so to demonstrate that I hit preview and then hit play You'll jump in the air and stay there and then when i want to do landing i hit this button okay so next we need to determine when the jumping is going to happen so when it does this i'm going to do a montage notifier to indicate the launching of the character so here we can do a launch so go to notifiers right click on here go add notifier and choose a montage notifier 
click on it and we're going to name it here launch jump and so when it hits that point it's going to launch in the air and jump then it gets stuck in the air and then when it lands it will land so we hit save and close that go back to your animation blueprint and go to the root of your anim graph like should look like this and we're going to add a slot node in here now this is required if you want to use montages they go into slots and therefore you need a slot in here compile that and save that like so okay on the bot now we've got bot jump doing jump before it does that i'm going to drag out my mesh and then from there we're going to do the play montage plug that in and choose your jumping montage there now we're going to do on notify begin to jump we've only got one notify so that's totally okay we don't have to do anything with the notify name we just need to do on notify begin so let's take a look at how this works okay so the launching works just fine i think what we now need to do now is do the landing part so on the landed event we're going to do the exact same thing copy and paste that this time we're putting in a section for starting and that be landing landed or landing let's have a look what i've done for that Uh, landing so put that as landing and we don't have to do jumping on here that's totally okay um, we can push play and see if he lands okay so at the moment the issue we got is that he's playing the animation again whilst in midair so we don't want to do this again if he's already in the air otherwise we get sort of a double jump look so on here we're going to do bot jump only if he's currently not jumping now for this i'm going to just do a simple uh a, a boolean on here so we go variables is jumping and we're going to drag this out and put that on to set onto the top pin here which means it will just go straight to it and turn it on tick the box and then when it's on completed you want to copy and paste that in and put that on completed on the bottom one so it's landed we turn is jumping off and then at the start of bot jump we just check to see if that's actually true or not so get is jumping put a branch in and put true across and therefore to make that true we want to make is jumping not true so not boolean into there compile and now he should stop jumping in midair he should just jump once on the floor while shooting us he got me let's try and get him again There he goes down he goes um, and that's it so we've got jumping now working for our bot ai um, and running around like that excellent work so in the next episode we're going to make him so he will run for cover when he needs to reload or when he gets too scared if we do like a fear mechanic you can do but we're going to make him run away and look for cover and hide a, find a good hiding space and for that we'll be using eqs so check us out in the next episode where we cover that you'll find that right now over on patreon.com forward slash ryan laley along with a load of other of my videos all from just one dollar a month uh so big thank you to all of my patrons for their continued support it really is amazing thank you so much and remember if you want the starting project for this you can find it in the link below if you're a gold patron you can download it thanks again for watching and i'll see you all next time bye everyone